Well, you've heard the name Jeffrey Epstein quite a bit over the next couple, or rather the past couple of weeks, all because of the documents and the list of names. But one thing we still have a lot of questions about is how Jeffrey Epstein died. Now, his death was ruled a suicide. Uh, it was deemed that he hung himself in his prison cell back in 2019. And this is something that his brother and other people, people who don't even know him, think couldn't have happened. How in the world could that have happened with someone uh, so infamous? Uh, we are joined right now by Mark Epstein, right now on the phone. Uh, Mark, thank you for joining us. You're welcome. So I, I want to get to the, the topic at hand, but all of us have people in our lives, family members, friends, who make decisions that are, we're not proud of. And your brother, a convicted sex offender, was still your brother. And I want to say my condolences to you and your family on his passing, because at the end of the day, you lost a brother, even though it was years ago. How do you feel today? Well, I, I'm fine, but I have lots of questions about his supposed uh, suicidal death, because when I first heard that he died by suicide in his jail cell, I had no reason to doubt it, and I just accepted that maybe that was his choice and what he wanted to do. But then after the facts and the autopsy was done and, and facts started coming out, then it it makes no sense for him to have committed suicide, especially the way they're trying to describe it. There's so many inconsistencies in the Justice Department report as compared to the facts that it, it, anybody with half a brain has to question, you know, why this is being covered up. What was the one glaring detail that caught your attention? Uh, well, for four some odd years, we were trying to find out what position his body was in when it was found. We haven't been able to get that answer until, you know, the uh, latter part of last year, the Justice Department report came out. And the way they said he was hanging is completely inconsistent with the autopsy results. Mm. They said he was sitting in a, a seated position with his legs extended in front of him, and he was hanging from the top bunk. And they said when they cut or tore him down, it's still unclear whether he was cut down or torn down, that his, his buttocks were an inch and an inch and a half off the ground, which means basically the, the bulk of his body weight was hanging on his neck, you know, on, the, on his ligature around his neck. So if you picture somebody sitting like that, that ligature is going to ride high up under your chin and then go up sort of behind your ears and up towards whatever you're tied to. But... In the actual autopsy, the photographs from the autopsy, it shows that the ligature mark on his neck was more in the center of his neck and going straight back. So he could not have been hanging the way they described. If you look in Google, you know, hangings... Oh, see. you don't want to do that. I mean, we don't, we don't want... It's already grotesque enough to think about. I know that's the reality and the detail of this investigation, and it is your brother and you care, but can we just talk a little bit more about what you want done do you, you want further investigation into his death? I mean, a lot of people, you know, everyday people read about this story. I first reported on it when it happened in 2019 when I lived in New York uh, from his home in New York. And a lot of people are thinking they didn't have cameras that could show that he was committing suicide. Nobody in security was aware that he had tied himself up. That seemed odd. And the people who were supposed to be there, the guards, I, I, I believe they weren't there. But what would you like to see happen? Well, I'd, I'd like the questions that we have to be answered. Like, uh, if Jeff was killed, he had to be killed by somebody that was already on the tier. There were about a dozen other prisoners on that tier. I had been told from another source that cell doors were left unlocked that night. So I'd like to find out who those prisoners were on the tier, you know, when they were put on that tier, and where are they today? Because if somebody was planted in there... Well, you know, after the death, a lot of prisoners were transferred off of the tier to different places. So do they exist still? And why weren't they questioned? And, and why can't we get that answer? And where's the videotapes of, of the camera in the tier was not working? So yeah. if somebody was moving in between Odd. cells, you couldn't see that, right. But the camera outside the tier was working. That's how they can tell nobody went in or out of the tier, and they could see the guards not doing their jobs. So where's the footage from that camera when they were taking Jeffrey out of the tier to take him to the infirmary? Understand something. When he was found, he was dead for at least two hours. That's, ah. The autopsy proved that. 
Yeah, it's just, it's, it's sad because we can't ask him what, what was going on, what happened. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.